second race, second half of the daily double. The track is fast, same policy as before. Top two finishers come back for the final next week, as well as two third place finishers from these eliminations to be drawn by lot. No changes, number one perfect tradition owned by Van Dehede and Carver of Moline and Rock Island, trained by Irvin Miller, Andy Miller in the bike. Two is La Rapida, owned by Homer Hochstetler of Crete, and by the Alexander family of Westfield, Wisconsin, trained and driven by Homer Hochstetler. Number three is Never Before Me, owned by Thomas Parker of Muhammad, trained and driven by John David Finn. Four, Living the Legend, owned by Lynn and Brett Wilfong of Kentland, Indiana, and Donovan, Illinois, trained and driven by Brett Wilfong. Number five, Edict, owned by P.H. Stable and William Valiant, trained and driven by Joe Anderson. Number six, Long Beach Becky, owned by Jerry Acton of Branson, Missouri, trained by Curtis Carey, Rick Schrock in the bike. Number seven, Tough Kim, owned by Dixie Graham and Sam Lilly of Salem and Downers Grove. Tony Morgan drives for trainer Jerry Hansen. Number eight, Heather Eileen, leased by Martin and Deborah Corson of Crown Point, Indiana. Mike McKenzie, the trainer. Dan Knox is on the bike. Number nine, This Little Light, owned by Bill Wright, Dirk Simpson, Mystical Marker Farms, and Donald Coleman of Morton, Sherman, Chicago Heights, and Lebanon, Illinois. Trained by Dirk Simpson, Dave McGee is the driver. Post time in less than five minutes. They're at the post, gates rolling. Here they come. They're off and trotting. There goes Long Beach Becky out for the early lead. Problems for Never Before Me, who is off stride and living the legend, is also on a break. La Rapida moves up to get the lead toward the inside from Long Beach Becky. Perfect tradition, sneaking through an opening down toward the rail as La Rapida leads it by a length and a half. Perfect tradition goes second. Long Beach Becky settles third. Edict is fourth. This little light is racing in fifth. And then comes Heather Eileen, who drops back a couple of spots off the opening quarter in 29 seconds as never before me is still off stride around the turn. Tough Kim moves up a spot and here comes Edict on the outside. Long Beach Becky has made a break now as several trotters have broken stride behind the leader. Edict up to challenge La Rapida. They're separated by just a neck. Perfect Tradition goes third by seven. This little light is fourth and then comes Tough Kim who's trotting in fifth followed by Heather Eileen sixth Long Beach Becky seventh. Never before me is eighth. Living the Legend is is far back in ninth, off the half in 58 and one. Edict finally makes the top by a length. La Rapida, off a good front half, is now trotting second. Perfect tradition third. Gap of seven, back to Tough Kim, outside of this little light, and then Heather Eileen, who's got plenty of ground to make up, and they're midway on the final turn. Edict leads it by a length and a half. La Rapida goes second by a length to Perfect Tradition, and Perfect Tradition, the odds-on favorite, has yet to make her move past the three quarters in 128 and three. Edict has the lead by three lengths. La Rapida is rough gated at the top of the stretch and now she's off stride. Perfect Tradition goes to second. So La Rapida having problems off the turn. Here comes Perfect Tradition trying to catch Edict and Anderson gets after Edict now with the whip because Perfect Tradition is coming. Edict has her by a length and a half. Perfect Tradition coming on. Edict hanging tough. Edict wins it. 58 and 3, 158 and 3 for Edict, a blockbuster performance. It was perfect tradition second and Tough Kim third. Ladies and gentlemen, you're looking at the filly who is now tied. Tied as the fastest two-year-old trotting filly ever bred in Illinois. Here's Edict, Joe Anderson, the winning driver. Can grab a word with Joe Anderson. Joe, 
We're just taking a look at the program. First of all, welcome back to the State Fair. You've been a busy guy. I know you've been all over the country this year. Edict comes in. This is the first time she's ever raced for money. She ties. She ties the fastest mile ever by an Illinois bred two-year-old trotting filly. Congratulations. And did she surprise you? Well, not really. All the credit should go to Per Hendrickson, who's trained this filly. He thought she had a lot of ability. Uh, he trained her at the Meadowlands, and he had talked to me a couple of months ago about sending her out here. And and he thought she had ability, and these guys are pretty good with trotters, and we got her here last week. We had trained her. She trained very, very good uh, this week at Balmoral, and yes, the time does surprise me, but her winning does not surprise me. I tell you, she looked great. We'll let you go back to work. Congratulations. Thank you. That's Joe Anderson, folks. He's the winning driver on that edict, two-year-old trotting filly, a daughter, by the way, a full-time job. We'll have the rundown next. <laughs> 